When the news started being filled with stories of hate, I found myself sharing stories about the kindness of strangers. This is one of them. My family was returning from a vacation in Ontario, Canada. We had just started up a huge humped bridge when my husband said, the car's acting like we don't have any gas, but we have plenty. Our car started to slow down. The cars behind us started honking, and then honking and swerving around us. Our car came to a stop. We were stunned. And then there was a voice from above. Our sunroof was open. <laughs> and a stranger was looking down on us and said, folks, you're in a really bad spot. My van is just behind you. Let me push your car up and over the hump of the bridge, and then you can coast down off the bridge to where there is a breakdown line. And we said, oh, yeah, good, great. And so we gave my husband some instructions, and, he, and the last one was, now when you feel the, my van bump into your car, get, take your foot off the brake. <laughs> so we waited, and, and my husband dutifully took his foot off the brake, and we started moving again. I, I said, I wonder, I wonder if our AARP auto car works in Canada. I wonder if I have it with me. I had never used it before. So I'm searching in my wallet, and I noticed a number of Ontario trooper cars zooming past us on the, going in the other direction with their sirens uh, shrieking and their lights flashing and I thought gee there must be somebody behind us somewhere really in trouble well I find the car I call I put on hold and just as we're coming over the, the crest of that that hump bridge I talk to a person and yeah they'll, they'll send a tow truck we coast down and uh, we come to a stop in the promised breakdown lane. The voice from above is back. The stranger in the van. Is there anything else I can do for you folks? Oh, no, thanks. Uh, there's a tow truck coming. And he disappeared from our lives. We're still kind of stunned and just beginning to think about what the rest of this day is going to be like when there's a new voice from above. This stranger is wearing a Smokey the Bear hat, an Ontario trooper. And he said, can I help you folks? And he said, uh, no, no, no thanks, Obi. there's a tow truck coming. And I said, how did you get here so fast? He said, oh, there are cameras on the bridge. So I turned to look, and I saw not only his car behind us, but five more trooper cars. Close. And I said, gee, a, a lot of you came to our rescue. He said, well, ma'am, one of our troopers died on that bridge six weeks ago, helping people in a car that was broken down. Yeah, that's pretty much my reaction. I was slowly comprehending that perhaps my family was still alive because of those six troopers and the stranger in the van and someone I had never even seen, the person monitoring the cameras on the bridge that morning. When the news started being filled with stories of hate, I started telling stories like this. I want to show my listeners that the kindness of strangers still exists. Thank you.